Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy these readings. Sorry I was not here yesterday, you guys, but I am back. We're going to do your weekend reading, so let's just get straight into this. Personal reading link is in the description box below. And thank you to everyone who has bought me a coffee. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what the energies are starting on well this reading is being done thursday evening so starting on friday saturday and sunday so you're starting with release your ex you've got honeymoon and chemistry okay let's see what the messages are here going forward release your ex it's time to clear your energy virgo okay let's see Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, we've got the Moon, Pisces energy, Four of Swords, healing from some kind of mental restriction or uh, a feeling, uh, you might be feeling like you can't let go of someone or you're having a hard time or there's a struggle to let go of an ex. I feel like this message is this weekend especially on Friday to take a little time um, because the moon does represent maybe there's some deception or lies and I, I'm feeling like okay you might really care for this person but it's like you can't deal with it but you, you know you love them you don't want to let go but it's giving you some mental stress or problems so it looks like Friday put into practice you know uh, letting go, doing some letting go practices, activities to let somebody from your past go so you can get into like back to baseline uh, or so that you just don't have to stress over that moon energy because the moon is like things are hidden, there's some shade, there's some unknown, there's very little bit of information that you have and it's, you know, you might be laying in bed at night trying to sort things out, not getting some sleep or having some anxiety or some just feeling kind of like, uh, it just feels like, like isolated or like you're in some kind of prison, like it's a mental prison because you just don't know, you know, that moon can be deception it can be representative of like lies or on things that are unseen needing to trust your gut you know and just really trusting your intuition and your gut especially on friday so that you can get some sleep or just be able to like make a decision like finally just say you know what at least for this weekend i'm letting somebody go all right let me just get a clarifying card for the moon yeah, it's about a partnership for sure. Um, it could be with a Leo. The Two of Cups does represent, let's see if I can remember, uh, Cancer. So it could be a Cancer. And, you know, the Moon does rule Cancer. So it could be with someone. Um, so when we say your ex, this could be residual leftover from someone that you had a partnership or you coupled with. It could be something that still felt new, but something went kind of wonky or someone kind of just disappeared into the night, causing some stress. The message here, especially on Friday, start the process of letting go. And it, you know, if it's too much for you, feel like, oh, you know, you just don't want to let go forever. Well, get, just give yourself like a little bit of a reprieve then over the weekend. Just say, you know what, this weekend, I'm releasing the X. I'm not, I'm not going to try and figure anything out. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to go have a good time. Uh, even if that means I'm going to sit on my couch and eat popcorn and watch movies. I'm just going to focus elsewhere. Okay. So Friday or Saturday, you have Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. What is going on here? Saturday. Two of Pentacles. The Magician. <clears throat> and the World. Wow. There's definitely a decision here. Um, I see Saturday about whether or not to take a trip or go somewhere. Um with a friend or someone you love um, this is kind of like weighing options so you may have something already on the table or someone brings something to you to, on the, puts out on the table about traveling or you might be talking to somebody online um, 
maybe even just like, I don't know, <laughs> something as simple as um, someone wants you to go on a roller coaster and you might be like, I don't think I can do that, you know? Um, something very simple here, but it looks like this is manifesting something new, doing something different or doing something new over this weekend, even if it's you know, not a holiday, even if the holiday can just be like, okay, I've got a weekend free, I'm going to go get out into the world, or I'm going to do something different, it's weighing the options, what do, what can I do, what could we do, let's do something different, something fun, it might even be over this weekend, starting to make plans, or thinking about, um, do you want to go away for the holidays coming up? Um, and where can you go? Where would you like to go? So Saturday looks like you're kind of making plans or you're being invited to go somewhere or um, you go somewhere over this weekend that's fun and exciting or just something that's enjoyable. Okay, now I just want to get some clarifying cards. So we also have Saturday, the Magician. Magician's uh, Mercury ruled, so it could be Virgo, Gemini for sure. Um, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Look, yeah, so there's like basically going into this kind of, yeah, it, it could be like being fearless. That's what I feel. Being fearless. You might have something come up that you haven't done before or for some of you something you haven't done before or something that you've just had a fear about doing but you're weighing it should you just go into the storm I feel like it's going into the storm uh, being fearless being fierce and really taking initially they were telling me taking the bull by the horns but that knight of swords is like changing something out of your comfort zone getting out of your comfort zone um changing your lifestyle in some way over this weekend or making plans to do that for the future so starting a new chapter having a new beginning finishing something out from the past and trying something new okay yep the end of a struggle so virgo kind of looks to me like saturday is all about okay what can i get myself into <laughs> what can i do this weekend or what plans can i make for the holidays that i haven't done either in a while or i haven't done before that i would really enjoy doing so this is really kind of like breaking out because you know like friday i saw you there with the eight of swords we're feeling restricted so that ten of wands there is like getting rid of that burden like because you have so many burdens there's so much on your shoulders this is like i want to break free <laughs> it's like breaking free or making plans to break free all right so you've got chemistry on sunday there's a strong magnetic attraction oh you've got the page of wands so hmm, you're getting some kind of message text phone call from someone let's see could be a fire sign Let's see. Okay. Water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be a Sagittarius. So I feel like you're going to be in contact with someone on Sunday. Um, now either you're getting a message or you're sending someone a message. And there's a little bit of hesitation about whether or not you should reach out to someone. This is someone where there's like a really strong, or whether or not you should accept a message or reply to someone, okay? This person comes in peace. I can tell you that. Um, whoever, this, there's like this magnetic attraction. It's, it's definitely um, chemistry, romantic. It doesn't feel like a friend kind of thing. This feels like something more. And it feels like with temperance, it's like coming into harmony. This does feel like possibly a soulmate uh, kind of thing happening here where someone's reaching out to you. Okay. You might, uh, they're a little hesitant as well, but it, but I feel like they mean well. Um, if you reach out to someone, they might be a little like hesitant, but I feel like they'll see that you, you mean well. 
in some way. I think there's something here about some kind of communication between two people where I uh, just want peace. Someone also patiently waiting to hear from you. Definitely. Could be like a set of water sign. Somebody patiently waiting to hear from you. They think you don't want to talk to them. This person feels you guys have insane chemistry, like off the charts chemistry. Um, they're kind of like, they think you don't want to talk to them or that you've put up some kind of boundaries or something. Um, you also feel like someone doesn't want to communicate with you, but I feel like you might reach out in good faith to someone. Yeah, they could be at a distance. Um, you might be hesitant at first, but you might reach out to somebody in good faith or respond in a very kind and peaceful way as well. Okay. Uh, let me see what else is happening here for you because I feel like this reading is a little too short. I have had the worst migraine yesterday and today is a little bit better, but I'm not going to go too long tonight because I really need this weekend to just chillax. Okay. So you've got the King of Pentacles. Okay. That's definitely you, your energy. All right. Look at that. Coming out of your comfort zone. You're making some kind of transition over this weekend, Virgo, for sure could be traveling as well let me see could also have um an earth sign who's coming towards you that has not they're breaking free as well you know it's strange i kind of feel like the six of swords and the four of pentacles is very conflicting because this should i stay or should i go should I do it or should I not? So I feel like overall, that's kind of the theme for you this, this weekend. Should you or should you not do something? So you're definitely a, a place of contemplation. Let's see. What will happen if Virgo does? Okay. Whatever this thing is, the lovers is here. So if you do it, you know what your thing is. If you do this thing, if you come out of your comfort zone... Love will be there on the other side. I'll tell you that. Love is on the other side. That deep, loving, warm affection. Um, that real good that real good juice. That real good love juice. And if you stay where you are and block and decide not to do it, something, or just just be like, no. I'm gonna stay where I am. Hmm. It looks like you keep you you win either way, Virgo you know what it's it's the opposite of damned if you do and damned if you don't it's awesome if you do and awesome if you don't it looks like no matter what path you choose you're going to have the love and the blessings okay um and especially with the hierophant like if you're look if you're like in this place in your life where you want like a long-term commitment like if you stay where you are that's going to happen you will connect with someone if you cross over and come out of the comfort zone and connect with a twin flame or someone like a, a deep love partner um, love will prevail with that so hmm yeah i just where is it i just saw there's the ace of cups i just saw the fool so a leap of faith. Sometimes a leap of faith means not doing something, right? Sometimes going in the opposite direction of what you normally do is taking a leap of faith and saying, well, if I don't take action, that might be completely different than what I've always done with a person, place, or thing. And not taking action also has results. So it depends on your situation, Okay, um, I feel like if you, if you, I kind of feel like, all right, Gemini and Taurus, I do feel like there is someone here who sees you as like um, their lover, their only one, like their soul, their soul, like their person. I mean, look, there's definitely a blessing of love coming towards you overall, like it's just going to happen in your life. And I don't, yeah, look, there's a Knight of Cups. I feel like... Um, this weekend mostly feels like just let go and be free. Just let go and go enjoy yourself, whatever that is. Everybody's enjoyment is different. Some people, some people like to go hiking mountains. Some people want to go to the beach. Some people just want to stay home because they're always out, and that's different for them. Some people just want to, you know, hit the sauna or just, you know, 
relax. You know, whatever it is, it's really necessary for you this weekend. Wh- whatever's going to make you joyous and happy and m- make you feel comfortable and, you know, and even if that is doing something completely different or going out of your comfort zone, you have to decide what it is for you. But I feel like no matter what you do this weekend, if you're focusing on yourself and make and putting yourself as a priority, making yourself happy and joyful this weekend, everything seems to kind of fall into place. And if you're looking for love, the lovers, the knight of cups, and the ace of cups is there. Or even if you're just like Melly says, being the rose and just attracting what's what to you. It, that's, that's it. I feel like your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And, you know, in, in the picture of that card, if I can find it, it's pretty much just a picture of someone who is just enjoying the moment. And they're not trying to, they're not chasing, they're not trying to control anything. Um, the person is just basically stopping and smelling the roses. Um, so in reference to that quote, maybe you need to stop and smell yourself. <laughs> maybe you need to go get some like, I don't know, nice smelling um, bath stuff or do, do something good for yourself. A little pampering, you know, whatever it is, get into some crime shows, you know, um, catch up on your the series that you like, get back to that group you used to be a part of, you know, get your roller skates on and go skating. Do, do something that you used to enjoy when you were younger. Also, I'm hearing, I'm trying to find that card so I can show you because I really feel like that was the message. Um, just the picture. I have that image in my mind of that woman who is just stopping and smelling the roses. You know, I don't know. Go to a side, um, a side street what do you call it? A uh, vegetable flower thing. Go pick out, go buy yourself some flowers or, you know, go get that tool or that thing. You know, get your ass back to the gym. Do something good for yourself this weekend. I, you know, the card's not here. So either I don't understand and that, I feel like that's a sign because it's not here, which is telling me, which is strange because my cards don't usually go missing like that. Yeah, it's not here, and I feel like that's a strong message that you need to make it be here because maybe you haven't really been putting yourself first or making yourself a priority in your own life, and that is extremely attractive. When you are making yourself a priority, but you also have the energy, there it is, yep, putting it back, the energy to give to yourself as well. You can love yourself and love others at the same time. All right, Virgo, so I'm short and sweet. I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope that you enjoy that. I will be uploading the shorts over the weekend, so you will be able to catch up on. You'll have a little something over the weekend now that I'm doing those, okay? So have a great weekend. Love yourselves. Love each other. Thank you to the mods. Don't forget, if you want to get a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. If you can't book with me, you can book with Brandy. And um, yeah, thanks to everyone who's been donating to the Child Exploitation campaign i have two of them if you haven't donated yet please do you can give anything i just always appreciate that and again don't forget show up to my only fans on monday for your weekly readings those are spicy readings can't be seen here can't do them here but they're pretty they're hot to trot <laughs> so definitely check them out if you want to subscribe become a member there everything is in the link all right, you guys, so have a great weekend. I'll see you. Bye.